This is a HP 350G2 laptop with a screen problem. This screen has a damage and we want to change it to one of a newer one. In this video we're going to have a look at the process of changing this screen. So let's go and have a look. This is a HP 350 model G2 laptop which has this screen issue and that was done apparently by having a pencil on the keyboard and by mistake the lid was pushed down and that caused this uh, liquid damage uh, to the screen there. Uh, not a lot you can do about this other than just replacing this. Uh, the screen which are quite easily available uh, they cost about 70-80 pound each so today we're going to have a look at how to replace this it's quite easy to actually if you got the part uh, you just need to take this bezel out and in order to get to the bezel so that you can um, take take this bezel out of its uh, location uh, there are two screws which are covered by this small a plastic lid on top so a gentle scraping and just taking this sticker thing off small covers which are held by the glue so you take them out there's another one on this end Now taking these out will expose two of the screws there. A normal screwdriver, a Phillips one, will do small screwdriver. So you will undo these two screws. Just to be on the safe side is better if the battery is taken off. And now once those screws are out, gently try and take this, just make a start somewhere, uh, ideally with a plastic, uh, try not to use this metallic screwdriver thing. And just make a small gap and these are clamped so you just need to undo them and let the seating go so you will hear a small click noise and it will start coming off so it's, it's, it's held by the glue and those small uh, plastic clamps and they are held in, in position and on the bottom there at this point uh, there is quite a lot of glue so it's quite strongly held there so you might need a little bit more power there and then the two notches they will if you take those off, this bezel should be able to come out. little bit more pressure on this side and that should hopefully there you are that it has come out so gently try and remove the bezel and that's how it will come off it's held by this small plastic and glue uh, keep this on the side and then now it will expose 
four of the screws. Uh, this is comparatively an easier and the design have changed that there used to be about eight or ten smaller screws on the side of this bezel on the, from the metallic plate but now there's only four screws on the four sides. Taking those four main screws out will undo this screen, this part of the screen so we're just going to use a normal screwdriver. And we're going to try and take these four screws out. After these are taken off, that should really just slide out. And there you go. Now it is connected to the motherboard by this connector. There is a single connector and it is held in place by this plastic a cello tape, a stronger tape on, on the top and just gently needs to undo this so that you can release the connector. So using the same screwdriver from the flat end of it, just making a star, just letting the corner of that tape, cello tape to lift up and you're just going to use your thumb and a finger just to drag it out. And once you take that thing out, that connector should come off. And that's all, that's all is needed in this in order to replace the screen. So. Uh, I've got the replacement screen, uh, they were available on Amazon, you can get it from eBay, other suppliers also sell it, anywhere between 70 to 80, 85 pound you can get a new screen. Just be careful about the model of it and it should have the same connector, so only the right one on the right particular model side of the screen will fit in there. So just be careful when you're buying one should have the same connector at the other end and all it requires now is this connector to be put back in place it is just a push-in connector but although the connection needs to be tightly met and all those small planks on this connector should meet the other end so that the connections are made In order to put that uh, connector in place, the cello tape or the tape is put back on it. We're just going to put the battery in just to quickly test. And if the connection and the connector is in its right place, switching it on should bring it some light. doesn't so it means that this connector is not properly in so that's the common thing this connector has to be tightly and it should all of his connection should be met so just taking that connection out again and trying to push that in properly and making sure that all the connections is made and and the two sides it just meet in a straight line there should not be any gap between the two and in order to put it back in position, that tape, cello tape, should go back on it so that it is kept in the seating and it stays there.
Right, I push that connector back in again, trying it again this time. And there you go. Once the connection is met, that should work and that should uh, put this screen back in action. Now we can turn the power off again because now the screen needs to be seated back as it was before. So just aligning it on the guards from both sides. And once, once it is properly seated in its place, we can put the bezel back in and start putting those four screws. Screws are back in its position, so the screen is now in place and now the bezel to cover that is going back. And that's the uh, same thing, you're just going to just push that bezel in its place again and you will hear some clicking noises once the, uh, the connections are made and the bezel goes back in its position. You have to go all round just to make sure that there is no more gap and same from the end as well those end connections should be properly meet as well And now these two screws to hold that bezel in position will, will go back in. And to cover these screws, those plastic covers you can reuse them they will go back they are quite strong and they will just fill that around gap up and that now completes the job Test it again and that's, that's the job done now, it's ready to go. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.